welcome to day one of the Believe It Thon! to be doing the Believe-a-thon. I really, really, really wanted to do it in November. It was like finals week and I just, I just couldn't do it. But I can do it now, I'm so excited. I have two weeks off before summer school. It's like the perfect spot for Believe-a-thon. So you best believe I will be participating. So it's day one and I thought I would first share my TBR with all of you guys and I'm really, really excited about this. I'm sure all of you are aware of the Believe-a-thon, by the way, but if not, I'll just tell you a super quick, brief thing. It is run by Gavin at How To Train Your Gavin. I will leave all of his information down below. And Gavin is one of my favorite people in the entire world. He's one of my best friends on BookTube, and he is kind of a genius at like creating readathons that are just so magical and perfect, hence the Believe-a-thon. Gavin actually created this entire little booklet, which I bought upon release date. And basically what it is, is it's a choose your own adventure for the Believe-a-thon. So there is a map and here's the map here. And you can choose like which way you wanna go to complete your journey. So obviously I chose all of my books and my prompts, but I also have way more books than will fit in the prompts. <laughs> so I'm going to read the minimum of five, but I actually might be reading a lot more because there's a lot of books that I wanna read in the next couple of weeks, but okay. So the very first prompt is to read the first book in a series. So I either have Fable Haven by Brandon Mull, which is about two kids who get sent to visit their grandparents over the summer and they discovered that their grandparents basically have a magical sanctuary with trolls and fairies and elves and chaos kind of ensues. Or I can do The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. This is about a girl named September and September is whisked away to fairyland and she has to save it. Giving myself options because I change my mind quite frequently. The second prompt is I'm going to Baba Yaga's house. So it is read a book featuring a family relationship. And for this one, I have chosen Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. This is about a father who comes back and tells his kids that he went out to get the milk and had an adventure along the way. So it's kind of like he's telling his children like all of the tales that he got into. And this sounds super cute. Or I can do the Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone by Jacqueline Moriarty. And this is about a girl named Bronte who goes to visit all of her aunts. So this is all about family. Bronte is visiting her aunts because it was like said in the will that her parents left that the only way she's gonna get an inheritance and kind of off the hook for this magical contract is that she has to deliver all of these magical treasures to all of her aunts. And I'm halfway through it now, so I definitely wanna finish it for the middle grade. It's it's so magical and whimsical and I think this is gonna be a great pick for the prompt. The next one is Mermaid's Lagoon, read a book featuring a female bond. 
And for this one, I am reading A Snicker of Magic by Natalie Lloyd. This is about a girl named Felicity, and Felicity is traveling with her mom and her sister, and they stop at this town that used to have lots of magic, but now all of the magic has disappeared, and so Felicity has to try to bring it back. And this just sounds so perfect. It kind of sounds a little bit like magical realism, but definitely a really charming book and perfect for the summertime, so I can't wait for this. The next place I'm going is Black Ice Bridge and this one is read a book featuring an expedition or an adventure. So this one is going to be either The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone, or it's going to be The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland, or it's going to be For Vengeance and Valor. And I'm really excited about this one. Look at how cute the cover is for this one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So this is about a girl named April who goes to a place called Winterbone Home, and it is a home for orphans. There she meets friends, but she realizes that Winterbone Home seems to be harboring secrets. So the adventure is trying to figure out exactly what's happening, and all of them seem to have like special gifts, I believe. Um, so it just sounds really, really magical and like very Harry Potter-esque. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. Okay, and then the very final one is read the next book in a series. And for this one, I have A Sprinkle of Sorcery by Michelle Harrison. And I'm so excited. Actually, Gavin is the one who gifted this to me. And I'm really, really, really excited to read this. Look at how beautiful this is with the sprayed edges and this. And I'm pretty sure it's also signed. Yeah, Michelle Harrison signed it. So it's like one of my favorite, most prized positions because she did A Pinch of Magic. And for those of you who don't know this, that's like one of my very favorite middle grades of all time. I love it so much. So yeah, really excited about this. And I won't tell you what this is about because it is the second in a series, but the first one is about three sisters and they are all bestowed like a magical gift and they have to try to break a family curse. So it's kind of perfect. And then somehow in there, I'd also like to work in this book, which is The Boy, the Bird, and the Coffin Maker by Matilda Woods. And this is about um, an older man who I think is recently widowed and he's lonely and he makes friends with a bird and a boy and he's the coffin maker. I really don't know a lot about this. <laughs> I, I do know also that it is magical realism though. So that's what caught my attention. But yeah, those are all of my books. I don't know if I can get to every single one of them, but I will be attempting to at least make my way across the map by using different ones for different prompts. And I am just so incredibly excited. But yeah, that's my TBR. So today's gonna be kind of a chill day. Not a ton is going on. I was doing summer school stuff, which is what you saw earlier, because my grad school summer school doesn't start for another two weeks, but we're encouraged to like get a head start. So that's what I've been trying to do every single day. So I think I'm gonna go work on that for a little bit, but then I am definitely going to start reading the first book for the first prompt, which is to read the very first book in a series. And these are my two contenders. So I think I might do is I think I might try reading the first chapter of both and seeing which one kind of grabs my attention a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Actually, I think I kind of wanna make another coffee. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go do that and then I'll edit for a little bit and then I'll read for a little bit. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, cool. Also, I've been really craving donuts, so I think I'm gonna be getting donuts tomorrow morning. I'm definitely getting donuts tomorrow morning. <laughs> almost nine o'clock it's like 8 45 and i've been editing now for the past i want to say like two and a half hours i'm trying this new thing where so that i'm not overwhelmed for, by like hours and hours of footage by the end of the week i 
kind of like edit every single day for a couple of hours. So I edited for Believeathon today, but that way I can try to put my Believeathon vlogs up like at the end of the current week if that makes sense, rather than like waiting a whole other week and then it being super late. So yeah, I just did that. It's really dark out now, um, which is why you're under my lamp because it's like very, very dark, but I still haven't even started reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those two books, the Fairyland book and the other book. There's another book I kind of wanna grab too that I didn't mention earlier. <laughs> I'm really bad with TBRs. And I'm gonna try reading the first chapter of each of those books and see like which one grabs my attention the most and then I'll try reading for tonight. Good morning friends and welcome to Believeathon day two where the magic continues. Today, like I said yesterday, I want donuts. So we're gonna go nuts and get some donuts. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna pick out some donuts, come back here, and then make a strong cup of coffee at home. And then today, basically, I'm just going to be reading middle grade and eating donuts because it's it's what's a party without donuts you know this morning i also started a new audiobook which i will be listening to it's for fable haven there we go and i have to say i'm kind of obsessed with it like it's really 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 good and i don't want to stop listening to it and i am upset with myself that i haven't picked this up earlier because so many people have told me that I'm going to love Fable Haven and I've been meaning to read it. I'm loving it. I really hope that it continues to get even more magical because it's just, it's so good right now. It's so good. So let's go pick up the donuts, come back, read a little bit, have a little bit of coffee. I do have to do summer school stuff today and I do have to edit some video stuff today, but otherwise it's just going to be a really chill, really fun day. Okay. Let's go and get some donuts. And these are the donuts. So these are maple. This is like a cinnamon roll one, powdered sugar, and then this is vanilla and coconut. And I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got my donut selection. Let me show you what I got. So I just did half donuts, but I wanted to like sample a bunch. So this one is vanilla and coconut. This one's just um, powdered sugar. And then this one is um, a maple and I'm so excited. I've also got my coffee and I've got my book. So I'm gonna start listening to the audiobook while I eat and then read along. And <laughs> it's gonna be like the perfect morning. The wood paneled walls along with a framed display of military medals and ribbons. There was a black and white picture of a much younger Grandpa Sorensen showing off an enormous marlin. Hi friends, a little bit of an update. I'm on page 69 of this book and I am really, really, really loving it. I just made myself lunch. I didn't film it. <laughs> and I am so tired actually. So I think I'm just gonna listen to the audiobook and continue reading this while sipping my coffee and just trying to relax a little bit. But again, I'm just really enjoying this book. What I'm really enjoying too are the dynamics between the siblings. I think that they have such distinct personalities and I know I'm just really, really loving it. So, cool. I'm gonna keep reading, I'll update you in a little bit. Thank you. 
has been your sorrow. Hello and welcome to Believeathon day six. It's Saturday, so yeah, I think day six, right? Okay. So I am wrapping up for the week. I ended up not filming on Thursday or Wednesday, I think, right? I don't know, this week has been a bit of a blur, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a summary, and then I'm gonna edit this so that you guys can see it on Sunday. So I didn't end up finishing 100 cupboards, and I don't have it with me. I only got to like page 60 or so on that, but I did finish Fable Haven by Brandon Mull, and I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like this is kind of the perfect book for reluctant readers because it was so fast paced and so gripping and I just, I feel like Brandon Mull is a really strong writer. The characters felt really, really well fleshed out, the world felt really well developed and it was just so fascinating and interesting. I looked it up and I believe that this was written in 2000 and, yeah, 2006. So I would say that this is a little bit of a product of its time, meaning that there are a couple of things in here that I don't think would be appropriate for today. Specifically, I think there's a little bit of fat shaming in here, which I didn't love at all. Yeah, I actually really hated that. So not a ton of it, but enough for me to like notice where we would describe like a troll and how dumb and ugly the troll looked, but also the troll was like described as being obese and like a couple of the imps that were in here were described as being really ugly and really obese. And like, I just didn't appreciate that at all. I feel like that doesn't really have a place in children's literature. I don't know, I just don't feel like fat shaming has a place in literature in general, but especially not in children's literature. So I didn't love that part. However, other than that, I really did enjoy a lot of this book. It was a really good book, but I just think that it's important to point out some of these things just so that you are aware of them if you wanted to pick this book up. But overall, this was such an interesting book, like really, really, really well written. And if you are, interested in picking this up, I think you'll probably like it because it was really, really good. The next book that I read, I freaking loved and that was Neil Gaiman's Fortunately the Milk. I just thought this was so incredibly good. I loved this because it felt sort of like I was being told a bedtime story. And actually, if you pick this up, I highly recommend this if you're looking for like a bedtime story to tell your kids or nieces and nephews, brothers and sisters, any of that stuff because I just, I loved it. I feel like this is such a charming and whimsical read. This took me like maybe two hours. It's primarily like pictures and then really, really fun text. And I just really had a lot of fun like flipping through it. Scotty Young is the illustrator and you can tell like they just had so much fun with the typography and with all of the drawings and it's really, really charming. This is all just one big tale, complete nonsense, but it just was really, really fun. And there's a couple of really funny like puns in here and things like instead of Twilight, I think it's called like Bite Light or something. Um, and it's a book about vampires. So just some of the stuff is just super, super, super cute. And I really love this. I, I thought this was just like a lighthearted, fun, nonsensical read and I really liked it. <laughs> and then the final book I want to talk about is The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone by Jacqueline Moriarty. I still haven't finished this, but I've read another 100 pages. I'm gonna try finishing it today actually, but I just, I really love this book. I don't think I'm going to give this anything less than like a five star. I love this just about as much as like a pinch of magic, I think. It's just, it's that good. It's really charming and really magical. And I just really, 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 really love it so much. I highly recommend it to anybody looking for a new favorite middle grade. But I also say that saying that I haven't finished it yet. So I'm gonna finish it and then I'll give you like my final thoughts. But it's just, it's like my favorite new thing. It's really, really fun and it's hard to put down. Okay, so just as an update, I made it past the Poacher's Pocket Inn. I made it past Baba Yaga's house with this one for a family relationship. And now I'm at the Mermaid Lagoon because what I ended up doing was, I think originally I said I wanted to do this one for my adventure, but I decided to do this for the female bond because Bronte is visiting all of her aunts. So it's like really a girl power centered story and I'm just loving it. So that's where I'm at now. I'm at the Mermaid's Lagoon in Neverland and I'm enjoying my stay. 
So I guess that is it for this vlog, you guys. I've had so much fun reading middle grade. You know how much I love middle grade. I love it with my whole heart. Are you participating in the Believe-a-thon or have you read any middle grade books that you would like to recommend me? Because I would love some middle grade recommendations from you guys, you know that. But yeah. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it. So until next time I see you, book lovers, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.